The last time you were here, uh, you were not a guest on the show. You were actually hosting the program, so thanks for that. That was so fun. You had fun? I had so much fun. The only bad thing was that you were not here. Yes, but, uh, but here yeah. I am now Yeah. to make up for it. Yeah. But yeah, you had fun. Everybody said that... Very supportive. The audience? Yeah. They're very supportive. They like you. I think it's the tie. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, you, uh, I understand you were starting to date someone the last time we spoke. You didn't want to talk about it, but now it worked out. I, you know, I really reached a point where I was sure I did not want to ever share my bed again. And, uh, but it turns out I was wrong and now we live together. Look at but, that. Uh, I mean, I kind of, Suggested he take the guest room as his own room. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! But um, but he said no. That's a boundary. He's not gonna move in and live in another room. So uh, we sleep together. But I like it. I think that's great. How long have y'all been living together? Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of blended into it. Months, few months. Yeah. But you bought this is you bought a house because you've always lived in apartments. This is your first. Yeah. Wow, you took I a long bought, time. Yeah. That's a long time to wait to buy a house. I never um, thought I was a house person. I've never, this is my first house since growing up in New Hampshire. And I thought I would be scared, and I am. So I come <laughs> home, and I'm like, hello, hello? And I go through all the rooms, and I go, hello, hello? And I look in the closets and under the bed, hello? I don't want to just sound like a man. Like, I want to sound unhinged. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what I think is going to happen. Like, murderers are going to be like, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a woman with a deep voice. I know. Like, this yeah. woman's a weirdo. Yeah. And I have this tiny dog, and she is not a good guard dog, because if murderers came, she would just lie on her back and be like, rub my belly. <laughs> but the more I thought about it, like, I think she would be a good guard dog in that way because they'd be rubbing her belly and be like, oh, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then you got a second dog, too. We just got a dog, uh, and she's big. She's, she's there. She, oh, my, where did these, I didn't even give you these that These are picture. from my wallet. I oh, have. my gosh. <laughs> so that's Sibby yeah. because she's Mary's sibling, and she's, um, and how old is that dog? What's her name? We just got her, she's seven. Mm -hmm. She's maybe about seven. There they are together. That was this morning. But wait a minute. Uh, how did your, and, and how old is your original dog, Mary? Mary's nine. God, that's, first of all, good for you for rescuing a senior dog. A lot I'm of people don't do that. I love yeah. that. The other I know, one. well, because the heartbreak is closer. Yeah, you know, but. It's, I know, but still, there are a lot of people who pass away and their dogs are left behind and the family just drops it off at the shelter and I just feel so sorry for the older dogs. Um, and you're hosting now uh, Stupid Pet Tricks, which has to be fun because uh -huh. I used to love that segment on David Letterman, which, of course, you're working with David Letterman on that. Mm -hmm. So you've got like a win-win. You've got David Letterman you're working with and Stupid Pet Tricks. Yeah, it's... it's so fun. It's early to be talking about, but we just were shooting it. And um, yeah, it's like a lot of barnyard animals and a lot of people's pets. Do your dogs do anything at all? Uh, no. Yeah. Mine, no, they don't. Uh... Mine don't do anything either. They don't even listen to us. Like we've, we've, we've paid for trainers for years. And with the trainer, they're fantastic. But then when they come back to us, they're just horrible. Horrible dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't come when they're called, really. Yeah. Sibby does. She's still excited, but Mary's just like, talk yeah. to the hand. Yeah. She brought that back recently. Yeah. Talk to the hand. Wow. What a, what a great dog. I was bring like, that wow, back. that's, that's yeah. really retro. Yeah. Um, hey, we have to take a break. More with Sarah after this. We are back with Sarah Silverman. And uh, first of all, what I wanted to get to in the last segment, which we didn't, is, is uh, you have a musical that you're working on. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, it was supposed to actually. Uh, Open two years ago, and uh, it it then you, you probably haven't heard of this. Um, you know how you're all wearing masks, <laughs> so it, it it got pushed and uh, and I, I lost one of my partners to COVID in it. And um, but it's it's coming back, so it feels very cathartic and and, and not coming back. It's going to open for yeah. the first time. Wow, so, um, April thirtieth. So it's coming up. What's it called? It is called The Bedwetter. It's from the, um, the book of the same name that I wrote, and uh, it's about the year I'm 10. 
fantastic. So I'm not in it, but like, B.B. Newworth plays my Nana, and uh, you know it's it's very exciting well, that's and great. It's, it's lovely. That's I great, and wait. you have a podcast, and you've done uh, it's something like eighty episodes already. Almost. That's a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then with a, a podcast, it's not just you interviewing or talking to people or answering their questions. Is what yours is. You also have to do the live the the ads for all the different supporters. And is that something that's a hassle for you? I mean, it's a touch soul killing. But I definitely make sure that, you know, I, I, I check like the Better Business Bureau and they, you know, have a, and make sure that they're on the up and up it, or else I don't do them. But I want to do commercial. Ellen, I mean, my face is my fortune. I don't understand why I'm not on like a big commercial and I'm really passionate. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked to you about it, but there's a, an electric toothbrush water pick combination. It's called Water Pick Sonic Fusion, and they're not paying me for this, but they should be, because I'm passionate about it. You should absolutely have one. I buy bunches of them so I can give them to friends. My dentist says I'm putting them out of business. That's how good it is. It, it's so good. And I just thought, well, I talk about it all the time because I'm passionate, and I know that death creeps in through the gums, and... <laughs> They, I thought I would have heard from them, you know, to do a commercial. I go, well, maybe they don't have commercials because they don't need to. They're the real deal. Then I was in my bathtub watching TV, as I do, and uh, there was a commercial for it with just a, a nobody, just like a woman. No. Thank you. I would be so good as their spokesperson. Like, I would, first of all, I have, at night, I floss my teeth, then I have a puff, then I brush my teeth. <laughs> and so I'll brush my teeth for like 20 minutes. It feels so good. And then when I'm done, I'm like, this is what I would do. I would say, water pick sonic fusion. And then I'll say, because death creeps into the gums, maybe do an ultra zoom when I say death creeps into, not yet, <laughs> when I say death creeps into the gums. And then I'll smile, and then maybe in post you can add like, a sparkle thing. Like ding, and a, and a sound. It would be, this is the bad version I'm just making okay, up. Just Something like this. Okay. Water pick sonic hair because death creeps in through the gums. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. That would be really good. Wow, there's a picture one. I mean, they're getting so much free. This is on Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, as seen on Ellen. They don't need you anymore. Now they're going to say I just as gave seen them the Ellen. milk for free. Yeah. Thank you for, for being here. Thank you for all the times that you've been here. Um, and uh, I'd I, like to, I'd like, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt oh. you. I'd like to take a second, if I can, and thank you. This, you have done this show for 20 years. You have influenced the zeitgeist. You have, you've, changed America, I'm gonna say this, for the better, in so many ways, just by being lovable you and undeniable, much like, like um, Billie Jean King. She did so much for women, just by be being unbelievable at tennis. And this is what you've done, not just for the LGBTQAI++, and I'd love to add an S just for me, <laughs> community, but, um, for the, uh, you know, um, heteronormative world that never even saw beyond that, who you are a part of their family now. They, you, they spend every afternoon with you, and you changed them, and you changed everyone, and I, I just appreciate you so much. And uh... Sarah, that is really very sweet of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, and uh, you are a very super, super smart and a wonderful human being. Very funny woman, very strong, independent, all those things that should be represented on television and everywhere. So thank you so much for everything. The Sarah Silverman Podcast is available on streaming services everywhere. We'll be back. <laughs>